Good afternoon, Virgos. Um, this is a how do they feel about you uh, reading, okay? Um, these messages uh, will or will, may not resonate with everyone, but take the messages as they um, apply to you in your current situation, okay? Um, also, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share to my videos, okay? Uh, like, subscribe, and share my videos, but subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, support, that'll be awesome. Um, okay, let's just jump right into this, okay? Virgos, you have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, Virgos, you could have just broke up with someone, okay? Um, and that, that you know... You guys are broken up, basically. Y'all guys, you could have been broken up for a while now, or you guys just broke up, okay? But um, I'm hearing three, three months, three weeks, something like that. But uh, chakra cleansing, okay? Call upon me to cleanse, to clear and open your chakras using scared geographic images, okay? So listen, you have um, a need to balance out your chakras here okay after the separation okay i'm feeling like your heart chakra sacral chakra and crown chakra i'm hearing root chakra okay these are all the chakras that are maybe blocked right now okay there's a strong need for you to ground yourself virgos okay because you guys are all over the place right now. And I see you guys could be overindulging in alcohol or some type of substance abuse to ease the pain, okay? But that isn't the way to go, okay? So if that's you, whatever Virgo this is, you know, I'm going to need you to stop and do some cleansing, detoxing, okay? Um... Because right now your energy is definitely scattered. Your energy behind this breakup. Okay. Yeah, you could be not making good decisions. I'm hearing good judgments. Okay. Anyway, moving right along. Okay. So, Virgos. This person has... Then their present energy is the four of pentacles. So this person could be holding back from you or holding on to you. Okay. But I'm feeling like either they're holding on or holding back for some kind of truth that they want to speak. Okay. Somebody wants to speak their truth, but they're trying to decide how to go about it. Cause they know that if they do tell you the truth, that it will bring a tower. Okay. And I feel like this person is trying to avoid a tower. Okay. Um, you could be getting some unexpected messages from this person. You know, um, you know, you could have been waiting for these messages or they're waiting for you to message them. Okay. But they know that when you do message them, they're going to try to avoid a tower or an ending or whatever the case may be by holding back to their truth. Okay. But they know that, you know, there's a decision that has to be made here. Okay. If they're going to tell you the truth or not about a situation. Okay, but this person could be holding back or holding on to some type of truths. Okay, um, in their uh, by obstacles, but um, hidden factors, what they're hiding from you. Okay, is the eight of wands. Yeah, this person definitely wants to talk to you for sure. Okay, this person wants to talk to you. They are very stressed out. Okay, having anxiety, not getting a lot of rest. Okay, this person's not sleeping because maybe they did some type of um, situation that they manipulated you or did some type of there was some type of manipulation done in this relationship okay that they're needing some type of strength from you know they're they're weak right now they're like uh their courage is you know they don't have enough courage to come to you okay um and tell you something here okay about another lover Okay, so they're thinking about how do I tell this person this? Okay, so if this person may have cheated on you, okay, I'm hearing this person cheated on you, Virgos, okay? I know they manipulated you and, you know, it's just like, how can I tell the Virgo, this Virgo that, you know, I'm sorry and I want a new beginning? 
you know, I want to start this thing over. Okay. Because maybe they know that you won't go for it. Okay. So in their obstacle position, this is their obstacles. Okay. An equal give and take, okay? Balancing out a situation that was toxic, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this relationship, now, I want to show you guys something. Okay, there was love, okay, here at one point, okay? But something happened, okay? And where is though Archangel Michael, okay, is the governs over the lover's card, okay? This is like you two guys were in love here. But something became toxic. Okay, very toxic, very double energy. There could be some type of codependency, uh, drug abuse, um, some type of, uh, you know, something just, just uh, addictions. They could be addicted to you, like stalkerish energy addicted type of stuff. Okay, but there was some type of bond. Okay, but like they feel bonded to you okay but it's a toxic bond okay and that's not good okay toxic bonds you know um this, there was definitely you guys this person is definitely a person that you could have had a family with you know that you ended it with because it was toxic okay or they ended the situation because of some type of addictions or because of some type of um restraints in this relationship or because, yeah, it was just, they weren't happy, okay? They know that they weren't happy. They're not happy that this relationship ended because they're they're addicted to you, Virgo. Wow, that's what I just heard. Okay, so, yeah, and it's burdening them, okay? You got two tens. They know it's over, over, okay? And they're not happy about the ending because they're addicted to you, Virgo, period. <laughs> Um, but there, there know that it's a delay here. There will be a delay working together or even communicating with this person um, because of these toxicities here. All right. There was an equal give and take due to toxicity or due to some kind of addiction that they weren't happy about. It was more so more of a burden that they brought in or you brought to them. But this is their obstacle. So they're getting over some type of addictions or they're needing to mm, like, yeah. Okay. Sex addiction. I'm hearing maybe they were addicted to your sex Virgo. Okay. And you know, they're not happy without it. It's very burdening them. Okay. It's very, it's a big burden on them with the 10 of wands right here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, there will be some type of delay here for sure. We're working together. And they know that, okay? But in the outcome, you have the emperor. So somebody wants to take charge or control of the situation, okay? Your person probably wants to take charge or control, but they don't know how because you got the emperor in the reverse, okay? Um, this emperor in the like this is this emperor in the reverse is not a person that knows how to lead, okay? So whoever this person is, they can act like or. They want to be the emperor, but they don't even know how to lead. They don't know how to. Whoever this person is, uh, this Aries or a Taurus type of energy person, whatever, whoever's in this emperor position, they could definitely be a fire sign, um, Leo, Aries, or a Sag, but this person doesn't know how to lead, okay? They act like they do, but they don't, period. They're just more concerned about the passion, the passionate, creative, you know, stuff that y'all do together like they're addicted to that okay um they love that <laughs> with the queen of cups okay this is like the thing that they love the most okay so mm. and they've actually made a decision about this situation yeah they actually decided that you know um virgo i'm going to mm. Mm. I'm hearing, okay, Virgo, I don't know what you did to this person, but they're like, that wand is mine. I love it. It's mine, okay? But they also know that you have another female in your midst that you are deciding to give the world to, okay, and start a brand new passionate creative endeavor with. And I think this makes this person very upset. 
because you actually took charge to do something elsewhere. Okay? But somebody's making a decision here. Okay? They decided already. It was already decided. <laughs> like, they definitely decided that, you know, they love you. And they do want something brand new. They want to start something over again. This could be a, just a sexual relationship they're going to offer you or whatever. But I would say you love yourself first, Virgo. Okay? Because it's a secret here that you don't know about. They will still be given to two. Okay? They definitely will be still given to two. Okay? And I'm feeling like it's just going to be a missed opportunity for this person that you did have a family with. Okay? Um, because you're, I feel as though Virgos, you're going to read, you're going to invest somewhere else. Okay. And this person is going to have regrets that you walked away and moved in away in your cherry and starting a new beginning. Okay. Offering something to someone. Okay. Like you're going to speak your truth to this person eventually. Okay. I don't know when, but you're definitely going to tell this person the truth. Like, listen, I don't want this anymore. I'm done. You know, you, maybe you're going to try to avoid a fight with this person. Maybe this person is very feisty okay uh so you know just be careful with that okay but this person is definitely going within right now okay so i was you know separation you guys know you guys are breaking up or y'all already broke up because something is imbalanced it's a huge imbalance here huge it's more of one-sided type of energy okay Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, you need to make a decision about this. Because even here, yeah. Somebody's just making a decision about this uh this toxic type of energy or vibe in this relationship. It's definitely a karmic situation. So yeah. Okay, uh Virgos. I hope you guys like to read. I hope this reading resonated with you guys. And um I will talk to you guys later.